Nas, Dave from Six String Stanger, coming to you live again from Miss Channel Created. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so, today we're just going to take a look at this Chapman guitar that I got back in 2016. Uh, it was the Christmas of 2015. Uh, I'd gotten some money for Christmas and things like that, and I was able to order this through uh, Rift City Guitar. Um, really awesome. They were, Rift City Guitar was the very first United States company or guitar shop to carry Chapman guitars. Um, so I was very stoked to get one of these when it came out. I believe this is the second series, the second run uh, when these came out. Uh, this is a very awesome guitar, guys. If you haven't checked out Chapman guitars, you should do so, honestly. Um, back in the day, uh, this guitar, I'm not sure... I think their specs are close to the same now. I'll kind of go over that a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so I'll just do some close-ups of the guitar while I'm talking here. So, back in 2015, they, they released a Ghost Fret. And this thing was just nothing but pure badassery when it hit. I mean, it was just, it was great. And when I found out it was actually in the United States, I could actually order it. It was amazing. So starting at the top of the headstock, you can see the ma the matching headstock matches the body, of course. So I think that's a nice, nice effect there. You got the flame at the top there going crazy. It uh, has the hip shot locking tuners with that beautiful Chapman guitar logo on it. That is awesome as well. Um, and then you have a tusk nut. It has a three-piece maple neck. Uh, a, I believe it's a thin uh, C neck contour, I believe, on there. And also it has 22 extra jumbo frets, 24 and 3 quarter scale with an ebony fretboard. You just can't get much better than that. So along with the Chapman uh, Infinity logo there at the 12th fret, uh, it uh, also has two of the passive aggressive humbuckers. Uh, these are Chapman uh, humbuckers in here. But they are kind of like based off of the... Uh, Seymour Duncan JB set. I believe that's what Rob had said at one point in his videos when these came out. And they are very nice pickups. Uh, also, you can see on the body, it's a uh, the book matched flame Canadian maple arch top, which is very, very awesome. It's a satin finish. You have a hip shop bridge, one volume, one tone coil tap. They have CTS pots also in this with a reveal binding of the natural wood with the cap on it. Comes with Diodario NYXL strings on it, which I'm not really a huge fan of NYXL. I swapped that out immediately for the Diodario, just the regular old Diodario strings. You have the three-way toggle switch, of course. Uh, this is a three-piece maple neck. Uh, it's a wood a neck through design. It goes right through the body. Uh, it has these, uh, I think they're Sapili mahogany wings that they put uh, on each side of the neck. And of course they put the cap on top, so you can't really see that on the top because you got the cap. But you know, you can see on the back and you can see the three piece uh, glued maple neck as well. So yeah, that's just some of the specs of this thing back then. Um, I can't remember, honestly, how much this was back then, but for the price point and what it was, it was amazing. I couldn't believe it. Um, I know when this came out, Rob did a video about it and you know, he was just like, we put the best of everything into this guitar. Um, naturally, it's a, it's a satin finish, but everything else as far as hardware, the CTS pots, uh, hip shot tuners and the bridge, uh, the locking tuners, I mean, everything. The tusk nut, I mean, what else? There's nothing else you could really put in the guitar, honestly. I mean, a three-piece maple neck plus the black, um, you know, the ebony fretboard, come on. I mean, pretty awesome stuff, honestly. All that stuff jammed into this guitar. It's just... It sounds so good. It's Articulation City. I mean, these pickups are amazing. I wanted to switch them out when I first got it because I thought, man, you know, because sometimes when you get a guitar and it has just like the signature set in it or whatever, sometimes they're not so great and you want to swap them out, but these here are really good. I was really surprised. And you got the pull, pull tone and uh, this coil tap here. It's just an amazing guitar, guys. So this compared to the other, the newer model, I have a text. Let me check that out. 
Thanks for the interruption, by the way, whoever it was. <laughs> so the difference between this and the newer models they have out now, I mean, they have so many different models. They got the ML1, the, the ML2s, and the baritones, all the guitars they have out. They, had, they even have the ghost frets still. They come in different colors and things like that. Um, but they have like a baseline model, and then they have a premium model. Now, I like to think of this guitar uh, as a combination of both. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You kind of get the modern look, but kind of with more of the premium parts, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, basically what you're getting, when you get a modern just a regular normal type Chapman. Most of your modern ones, I believe, there might be a few of them, but I think most of your modern ones are all kind of satiny finished like this. Um, I think they come with Chapman pickups, I do believe, still. I think some of the electronics might be a little bit on the, you know, I don't think they're CTS, they might be something else. I, I'm pretty sure there's not the hip shots and things like that in the hip and the uh, headstock and things like that. I'm, I should have done some research on that. Don't know. Pretty sure though, um, but yeah. So like some some of the baseline models are like anywhere from four hundred to four to five, maybe five and a half five and a half dollars. What a dumb mother. Anyway, <laughs> but four to five, maybe up to six hundred dollars on your baseline models. Now if you go premium models, which you're gonna get, a lot of your models will be nice and glossy. You'll get the hip shots, and you'll get um, you know your hip shot tuners, things like that, you're going to get more upgradable parts. Um, most of the woods, I do believe, are the same. Some of the woods might be different from the modern to the to the uh, Pro Series, but, you know, you, you know, it is what it is, right? I mean, they wanted to make Chapman, they wanted to keep it, some of it affordable, but they wanted some to be really top-of-the-line stuff. And you can always get something and upgrade it, you know? I mean, it's kind of fun sometimes, right? But, like, you know, with the modern ones, you're going to get, I think it's just Chapman Design Tuners, which I've heard they're pretty good. The nut, I think, is a different quality nut on some of them as well. Same way with the bridge. You know, it's just a little bit less quality on the parts. But the, as far as the guitar itself, it's the same type guitar, you know, things like that. But uh, it plays really well. Honest to God, guys, these the frets are rolled really nicely on the edges. There's no sharp parts ever coming off of this thing. I've never had an issue with any frets, any string buzz. Uh, when I got this from Rift City, it came right out of the box, perfectly, perfectly in tune. It was amazing. Um, so, yeah, just to give you a little bit of ideas, I know I played a little bit at the beginning. I have another text. I'm going to really get out, uh, a little upset here. Uh, give me a minute. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> it's a great time to do a video. But yeah, I played a little bit at the beginning. Uh, that was just, nothing was mic'd or anything. It's just room sound, you know, just like it is, like right now. It's just all, it's all room. <laughs> Sounds really good. It's got a lot of bite to it. Um, anyway, I'll, I'll play you a little clip here of one of my performances of me doing one of my songs, my original song. Um, you can hear you can hear the note definition, that just the crunch, the rawness of this thing. It's just amazing. Um, so basically what it was is I have some songs that I've done. Uh, they're on my playlist. I basically downloaded one into Studio One uh, and I plugged this in. I believe I used my Boss ME80 and set it, I, I can't remember the settings I actually used, honestly it's been a you know, few years ago. But anyway, here's a little sound test of that.
All right, man. So that that was really cool. It sounds great. If you want to watch that whole video, I'll put a couple links to different videos that I've done with this uh, in the description. I think I've done two or three of them with good audio and one that was just my, um, I think it was catching riffage that I did uh, not too long after I got this. I just had room volume. I, I didn't have any way to mic anything at that point. I was in the process of getting stuff for that. But uh, e even with the room volume and stuff, it's it just sounded really good. So as in all of these type of videos, you know, you got to kind of give your two cents of what you don't like. Well, there's not too much that I don't like about this guitar, but the one thing that is kind of, maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. I mean, I know people that, uh, that have them, and it doesn't bother them, and it really, I can't say that it bothers me, but if, you're, if your guitar goes out of tune, I'm used to the pegs being up on top. It's a reverse headstock. <laughs> I mean, most of the Chapman guitar line is a reverse headstock. Uh, I mean... That's their thing. That's what they wanted to do. If you're used to it, no problem. But if you're not, you're just used to going up here. It's kind of like everything's reversed. So if you wanted to tighten it, you go the opposite way down here. And it gets really confusing. But, I mean, if that's my only gripe about this, it's, it's not it, it's not a deal breaker. Let's put it that way. This, this thing here is a guitar. I, I can live with that. That's no big deal. Um, it plays great, sounds good, looks good. And it just, I mean, look at the back of this. Look, look at the wood. Look, look at those wings that they put on here. You can see that the three-piece maple neck going through there. I mean, it's really, really a good craftsmanship of a guitar. Um, I, I hope to own another Chapman someday. Um, you know, maybe sooner than we all know. I don't know. Um, so, you know, I mean, I might be getting more stuff for Christmas. And if you didn't know... A uh, musician's friend actually carries Chapman guitars. Uh, a lot of you may know that. If, especially if you go to guitar centers, guitar centers also carry these all across the United States. Um, <clears throat> so they're not as scarce as they used to be back in the day when I bought this one. Um, I, I think Chapman is doing a great thing, and I think I, I could see Chapman like going crazy overboard, like as far as. I know at NAMM it's their 10 year anniversary and um, it's going to be cool. He says he's got some cool stuff to unveil. I can't wait to see that stuff. This is going to be crazy. Um, I just I just like the whole the whole vibe, the whole look of, of, of Chapman. They're just, I don't know. They're, they're awesome. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys feel differently. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Chapman guitars. I, I think they're awesome. Um, there's not too many guitars that they've came out with where I'm like, Ugh, I don't think I would like that. <laughs> I mean, they just all, they look good, you know, and I'm not picky when it comes to shape. I mean, you know, I've got Explorers, i got Les Pauls, um, i got Flying Vs. I, I'm not really pick, picky, but if I had to pick my favorite as far as body style would go, I would have to say Les Paul for myself. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not picky. I don't just pick one, oh, God, i got to have a telly. That's it. You know, which Chapman's got them all, man. You know, they got them all, and uh, that's really cool. Okay, guys, so, yeah, it's held up great. This is, let's see, 2016, 17, 18. This is December 2019. I've had this for three years, roughly. A little close to three years. And, uh, you know, it's really held up. It's going on four years, actually. Yeah, because it's going to be 2020 here pretty soon. But, yeah, it's really held up great. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not a gigging musician, you know. I'm a little older now. I work a full-time job. I do record from time to time. Uh, like I said, check out those videos in the in the description down below. Um, it, it sounds really good. It really does, guys. Um, uh, you know, I don't I don't play it a lot, but I do get it out and I do play this thing because it just plays so great. And uh, you know, I wish I was more of a shredder because yeah, see that's why I don't play leads because I suck. <laughs> anyway, so yes. It's holding up great, feels good, got a nice weight to it, it's not very heavy. Um, like I said, this model here is, I think personally, the best of both worlds. You kind of get the modern mixed in with the with the upper class type of build. So, kind of cool, glad I got this when I did. That'll do it for this video, guys. If you like this video, drop that thumbs up. Kind of helps me out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, thank you to all my new subscribers, guys. You rock. You guys really do rock. I thank you so much. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think about Chapman. Let me know if you like the ghost fret. Do you like the blue? You know, let me know. Just let me know your thoughts, guys. Really. I'd like to know. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, it's all about the music. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for all the updates coming up. I post all kinds of weird stuff on Instagram. You never know what you're going to see. That is also down in the link below. I also have a Twitter account down there. Give that a look. Um, so, yeah. Rock on, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.